Hey there, Alan Matthews here, and we are looking at the Branley and Glace. What a great little piece. A Branley is a dance. It's kind of a brawlish, brutish dance, man and woman both. It's done in a, like a line dance or a circle dance in the in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, and uh, it's a good time thing. It's a powerful, upright, sprightly dance, um, full on barroom. It's of the people. It's not so much of a um, of a dainty little court piece it's more of a a brutish you know barefoot in the dirt type let's get it on type of music we've got a whole course on this piece available for you now and in this video i'm just going to give you a quick overview to show you what's involved and what you'd be signing up for if you like to play this piece then um then you'll know what's in store so taking a look here if you'll notice the bass line is mainly this open is this open a this whole time these are broken it into small sections for practice, and each of these, these lines right here um, corresponds to a small practice section, and we've gone through and in, the, in the course and just really broken it down and talked about each little nuance within each little section and worked on it that way. There is this repeating bass line, and then in the top, you'll notice that it's mainly single note lines in the top across this open bass line, and so that's, it's really accessible in that way for fairly beginning students. So that's a really good thing. A couple of block chords. Now, once we get down into this section down here, it does get a little bit more elaborate and we are bass lines. We actually have a little bit of some stretch going on right here. Nothing that's, you know, impossible or anything like that. And we have an interesting move, but because it's only, there's not very much of it, I think it's really accessible for, um, for, just about um, anybody who kind of can play some chords, you know, if you can play some chords and you've been playing a little while, you could probably dig into this one. There's tab included as well, and so if your note reading isn't all that great, then there's the tab there as well, but I really encourage you to, um, to play with the no musical notation. The, um, it does move out of the first position for just one note, and that is this A right here. And it happens a few different times throughout the piece, and once per line, it looks like. And, um, and so that just goes up to the second position. Not a big deal, but it, we do talk about how to get up there to where your hand stays in good position and how to get back down and everything like that. So it's a really fun piece to learn and play, and it, can, um, and it gets fun as you get faster and faster with it. And It'll also, it'll give you some challenges, but it's totally accessible and doable at the same time. You'll, you'll have to, you probably won't be able to get it in one day to get it really smooth and just like you want it, but, uh, but that's a great thing. And so you'll have to practice it a bit, but it's totally within reach as well. So that is the Branley Inglis. I hope you have fun with it. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.